Hello, welcome back to the channel. I know what you're thinking. How do I always look so good? No SHUT UP! Asked. I actually just got done taking photos in Chi Chi. So my makeup for this entire video is going to be essentially gray. I'm so sorry about that. It is a jump scare when I turn the light on later. Seeing as it is almost Halloween, I thought today it would be fun to talk about closet cosplaying. It's been several years since I have done a closet cosplay myself. I think maybe 2016 is probably the last time and I genuinely don't remember what it would have even been. It's been so long. I do kind of miss the freedom of doing closet cosplays because I feel like now I'm so focused on 100% accuracy and like perfect detailing that it can be really frustrating and not fun trying to do new characters because you're constantly trying to make it absolutely perfect. On top of that, buying costumes gets so expensive so expensive. Am I still gonna buy cosplays? Yeah, definitely. But it would be nice every now and then to spend a little less money and just use things from my closet. Closet cosplays can also give you the ability to do characters that you can't really find costumes for. I know today I'm going to be doing a character that I couldn't find a costume for online. There may be one if you really dig deep somewhere into some website, but pretty much all of the versions that I found online were like a younger version of her or they were just commissioned based ones, which is fine, but super expensive, you know? So I thought, why not take this opportunity, now that it's almost Halloween, to just do something from my closet and make the character, you know? So today, me and Christine are going to be presenting Helena Targaryen from the HBO series House of the Dragon from my closet. I have been a super big Game of Thrones fan since inception. Okay, and when they announced that they were making the prequel, House of the Dragon, I was stoked! Are you kidding? Helena is an absolute sweetheart. I love her. She's my favorite character. She gets not a lot of screen time in the first season of the show, but I still love her. And the actress that plays her, Fia Sabin, such a cutie. Love it. So. Today, that is what I'll be doing. I am also currently getting one of her costumes commissioned, so I will probably have a separate video for that as well, but that is going to be a while before it gets here. So I decided why not do a separate outfit from the series and just do it, you know, now since I'm impatient. So that's what we're doing. When I look through the show, because she's not in the show a ton. She only has like maybe four or five outfits to choose from. The one I'm getting commissioned obviously was my favorite one, so I had to decide on a second one. But they are filming season two right now, or they may have already finished filming, I don't know. It is, some of it is filmed. It has been filmed. And there are a ton of photographers on the set taking photos from behind the scenes and leaking all of the photos in advance. And I was like, oh my gosh, look at this photo. She looks so good here. Without spoiling anything, I think it's so pretty and she looks so good. So that's what we'll be focusing on. I'll put a reference photo somewhere here. So first thing we're going to be doing is styling the wig with Christine. This is the wig we will be using. And you may be saying to yourself, that looks brand new. It is. And you may also be saying to yourself, isn't the whole point of a closet cosplay to use things that you already own? And you're right, that's true. But to be fair, this has been sitting in my closet for several months now. I ordered it when I originally got the costume commissioned. So technically, it's from my closet. On top of that, I've never gotten around to styling it. So we can just style it today. The hairstyle that she wears in this scene 
is completely different from the ones that she wears in the previous season. I dread wig styling. It is my least favorite thing about cosplaying. I do not like styling wig. I'm terrible at it. I'm horrible at it. It's awful. But I will not let that stop me from trying. And try, I will. She actually has a veil in these photos that lays over top of the wig. What I'm hearing is inaccuracies are fine. been about 20 minutes. Please do not look at the amount of bobby pins Christine has in because you know what? It'll all be covered by a veil anyway. Plus, the back of my head is not my business. Now that we got the wig out of the way, we can move on to the big part, the costume. I used to work at the Renaissance Festival so I have a lot of weird things, a lot of weird pieces that can be combined. Who knows? At first I was thinking maybe something like this, a little corset moment. I may come back to it. Do I not have other options? We will see, we will see. When I worked at the Renaissance, obviously we had to wear costumes and for whatever reason, I loved green that season. I loved it. So I have tons of green things from that season. We have this really long skirt. It's pretty long. Yeah. Um, it has some pretty detailing on it. I think that could definitely, definitely be a contender. It would even maybe work as a dress if I wanted it to. It's kind of long. Okay. So this is a contender for sure. This is the overskirt, so it parts down the middle and then you can see the green underneath. So this actually goes on top, which could also work because she has like the black layered thing on top of the green. Next up on option train, this dress, which is my favorite contender right now because it's green and it has all this detailing on it, right? I also have this jacket cloak overlay thing, which has a bunch of detailing on it as well. So this could work for the black overcoat. I think I'm gonna settle on this one just because it is already a dress. So I don't have to make the other one into a dress. As you can see from the photos, it is almost impossible to tell what accessories she has on because they are so blurry. My favorite part of her entire outfit is her little crown that she has on. I don't have one that looks identical to that, but I do have a headband. Based on previous seasons, she just wears little gold hoop earrings. Um, I do have two different styles of gold hoops. I have these ones that are just like plain kind of gold hoop moment. And then I have these ones that are more detailed, which are more like a teardrop shape. And finally, things like her rings and shoes that I can't even see her shoes. There are no shoes to be seen. So I will be going with these um, Fila slides. I think these are historically accurate. I think they represent the character well. For her rings, she kind of has just like plain gold jewelry on. I have this one, which is just circle. 
and it's gold so you know and then i have this one which is black it has like a little gem on it and it's also gold and then i have these other two which are like the same thing but like kind of smaller so they make no difference to me i have this veil the iconic veil i it has detailing on the sides and stuff but i think it'll work fine i think maybe it'll even work better because i have something to pin it to the headband with so i think that'll be fun you're gonna have to work with me here because i forgot to bring lace glue and hairspray so i have nothing to keep this wig down and it keeps sliding backwards so just pretend you don't notice that okay this is the final look i a little outro moment for you in conclusion i think closet cosplaying can be super fun this is a good way to do new characters. And I feel like I haven't seen as many closet cosplays lately as I used to. Let us know if you have any fun closet cosplay stories or tips. So yeah, I guess that is all I have today. Um, me and Christine are gonna go on a walk, I guess. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day.